Hi everybody and welcome. So in this update, we're gonna talk about how do I get my plane to pivot on, pivot on one wheel like that? And the answer is pretty simple. It's uh, a brake system I designed. So in this video, we're gonna dive into how the brakes work. And here you can see that I use Fusion 360 to design all my parts. Everything basically is printed with ABS at a really high temperature of 260 to make sure everything's gonna be really strong. And my bed temperature was 100. And um, basically this is just a old style drum type brake. So let me turn off some parts here so you can see inside here. But basically the orange parts are brake shoes that run inside a liner. And um, if you look at this green thing here, it's a cam and it's, it's activated by a servo on the back side of this uh, contraption. So there's the liner, it's 6061 T6 aluminum tubing that's pressed into the rim. And when the cam turns, it pushes those two orange uh, shoes into the lining, the brake lining. And you'll see that in just a second in the video. Uh, what holds it all together is, believe it or not, a rubber band. And the rubber band holds the two shoes together so they don't stay engaged. And yes, the ABS worked. All you haters two years ago said this wouldn't work. Like usual, you were wrong. But um, I have 54 flights on the original set of shoes and they didn't show any appreciable wear. And uh, let's look at this kind of exploded here so you can understand how the servo actually connects to the uh, cam. And I basically use one of those adjustable arm things for your servo and left the arm off and it slides into the cam there. Cam goes through everything and basically turns and activates everything. And uh, it works really slick, slicker than snot. Now, as I said, this is all 3D printed ABS. Use really high temps to make sure everything's stuck together well. And um, it's just worked flawlessly. I had 54 flights and I broke the brakes down to basically do an inspection before the flying season starts again. And I could see if anything had wear, uh, wore too much and it hadn't. Uh, most of the parts in this are from Master Car if they're like bolts and nuts and stuff like that. And uh, there's this back side of the servo. Keep in mind the servo has to be a lot, pretty high torque. I have a 344 ounce servo on this. Uh, to help lock up my brakes because it does need some uh, oomph. So, um, oh, and the landing gear was made out of 4130 chromoly. I TIG welded it up. So let's look at how these things actually activate. So here I'm moving the rudder stick left and right, which would activate either the left or right hand side of the plane. Now when they both move, I have a extra mix where I can basically set a parking brake. But that's how the... Um, radios mixed so that the rudders activate these. Here's a little bit better view of one. And you can see there's pretty good travel. There's really tight tolerances in this thing and it works really flawlessly. Now I did have to put a reinforced 440 through the middle of the cam because the cam was not strong enough to take the force without twisting off. And I did have to take a nut on the end and grind it down the shape of the, and you can see it here, the shape of the uh, cam. Uh, to hold it all together and uh, it's worked really good. Here you can kind of see me spinning the wheel and then activating the brake. Um, I can barely move the tire by my hand. If I lock up the brake, I can still get it to slide a little there. See, you can see I'm really, I mean, I'm putting a lot of force on it. Normally on grass, the wheels just lock up on pavement. I have gotten them to skid a couple of times, but it's just a rock solid design. And uh, it was funny, all the haters that came out two years ago and said this wouldn't work. And some of them even go to say, well, we're not haters. You just don't want input. I, how would have I learned to do all this stuff without getting input people? Okay, just lighten up on me. I mean, I like input from people who have skill or have knowledge or experience or can show that they've actually done something in their life instead of just being complainers. Um, as far as drawings on it, I do have drawings. If you want to reach out to me, I can uh, basically give them to you. And uh, they're pretty quick. If you want the Fusion 365 or, or a step file of this design, I have that also available. And um, I hope you enjoy all this. But I've just had an awful lot of people reach out and say, how in the world are you getting your airplanes to, you know, basically pivot on one wheel? And that's basically me locking up one wheel. You can see I'm putting in a lot of rudder here. I've got full right rudder, which is locking up the right tire. And that's how it's pivoting around. And it's just that simple, everybody. So all you haters, you can kiss my butt. All you guys that want to learn something, guys and gals that want to learn something, just keep watching what I'm doing. Hope you all have an awesome day and rock on.
Take care, everybody, and be safe.